Transit Technologies supplies equipment and services to the energy, the utilities, the industrial sector in Trinidad and Tobago and we operate both onshore and offshore. So the platforms offshore and all the, the plants in Point Lisas and so on, we supply goods and services to the industry. So Answer Technologies Limited uh, derived from the merger and the acquisition of two companies, HJ Grand Soul Limited and Hardware and Oilfield Limited. Hardware and Oilfield Limited started in about 1931. HJ Grand Soul started in about 1941. So this, these were two very old companies that the group bought out in around the year 2000 or thereabouts. And they merged these two companies together and that is what formed Answer Technologies Limited. In the early days, well, hardware and oil field, they served the, the both hardware and oil field uh, side of the business. We've gone away from the hardware side of it. So we used to supply, you know, pipes and uh, fittings and so on for hardware. We, we've done away with that business because of the competition and the fact that it was not as economical as the oil field sector of it. And so we moved into the supply of pipes, valves, fittings, flanges and so on. And then we also started to do a lot of the uh, instrumentation type of work, which is where a lot of technology is involved. We've expanded from, you know, just strictly the, the, the oil field areas into the industrial sector. So now one of our major customers is Wasser. We supply a lot of um, pipes and fittings and so on to Wasser. We've also gone into the utility sector, some stuff with TN Tech and those types of things. So this is how we've been growing all, all, all these years. Okay, my name is Derek Bipath. I'm the manager of the engineering and construction division. Um, basically what we do is we sell engineered products as well as ENI type construction to the petrochemical industry. And we've been in the business for a number of years now, so we offer a number of um, engineered products and services to uh, a wide sphere of, um, of industries, upstream, downstream and utilities. So we, we are more um, a seal and engineered product type division. So we do not produce um, any, any type of product here. We are more purchase from our suppliers and resell to our customers. And then we have the engineered services which we provide in the electrical areas. So we do electrical engineering and do installation for our clients. My name is Patrick Yi. I am in charge of the procurement department for Answer Technologies. Uh, any purchases that uh, have to go through the company comes through my department and we would source and find anything that you basically would need. It would stem from something as simple as stationary and something as complicated as uh, valves and so on. So it's a wide stream and just basically whatever the client needs we, we try to find for them. Normally what we would have is our clients sending in requisitions uh, and they would come through our sales team and then be forwarded to us. Depending on the specifications and the items required, we would uh, source suppliers and shortlist a few of them before we send the requisition out. What we tend to look at is to try to get the, the goods at the right price, at the right location and at the right specification and to have it um, get the right delivery which would suit all our clients' needs. Yeah, the, the numbers, um, see our, our annual sales, is like last year, <coughs> it was $118 million worth of, um, that, that was the revenue stream. And this year, our budget is for $150 million. So we, we're looking to grow the business. Uh, I mean, there's a significant growth in the business as we, as we move along. Well, the group itself provides strong financial backings for Answer Technologies. So if you have a major project to work on, then you could, you could be assured that if you have to fund this project, you'll get the funding from head office because they have the funding to develop. So we don't have to worry about you know, who is going to pay and how we're going to finance the project. That is one of the key things that differentiates us. In 2008, when the price of oil cratered, you know, it went from 147 down to whatever, very low levels, the industry itself went into a tailspin. And Answer Technology is so declining in revenues. 2009, it declined, 2010, it declined, and then it kind of bottomed off and started to climb back up. So 2011, 2012, we saw slight increases and we're projecting to see those increases in the base business. 
My name is Asma Hussein, and my role here at Answer Technologies Limited is that of Executive Director. As Executive Director at Answer Technologies, I work very closely with the Managing Director, Mr. Alim Hussein, and the management team. The management team here consists of very small, so we, I work in alongside the Manager of Engineering and Construction with the manager of marketing and sales, the procurement manager, as well as the warehousing manager. Part of my portfolio, you asked me, what does I do? Um, basically, it is to examine the strategic plan of the company and to ensure that the KPIs and targets are met at the end of the year. We operate under quality under the ISO 9001-2000 standard. As well as, as you know, it is now a requirement that once you are operating within the oil and gas industry, you, the company must be STO certified. As you know, STO means safe to work and Answer Technologies is STO certified. We are just going to change our coordinates slightly and go into a new venture which is marine. The marine sector we are going to head into. And with the marine sector, we are going to go into, it into two different areas. First of all, we are going into the construction area. And second part, we are going to do as marine accessories. So right now, we are in talks with a, um, a foreign company to be the local distributor for marine products here in Trinidad and Tobago. And with respect to the construction side, as you know, we have the government has over 156 coastal erosion pro projects on the calendar that must be completed in the next 15 to 18 months. <music>